Heisenberg's principle, indeed, is very, very non-intuitive. Frankly speaking, I'd call it bizarre. But you can see it at work. Suppose I have a laser beam here. And I use laser beam because that's right, but I could use any other light for that matter. And I make here an opening, a slit, a vertical slit. And here goes the laser beam right through the slit. Light goes on, light goes on, and here I project this onto this wall, or screen, projection screen, and what do I see? Well, you see exactly what you predict. You see here this laser spot from this beam. But now I'm going to make this vertical slit narrower and narrower and narrower. Well, now what are you going to see? Well, you're going to see exactly what you predict. You're going to cut off the edges of the circle, and the spot gets narrower and narrower and narrower. But now you come to the point that this narrow slit, say, is only one hundredth of an inch wide. And now Heisenberg's principle comes in. Because now you know so precisely in the horizontal direction where the light is, that as it emerges from this slit, the direction of the light is no longer determined, according to Heisenberg's principle. And so now what you're going to see, it's going to spread out in the horizontal plane, and therefore what you're going to see on this projection screen is going to get wider. Extremely non-intuitive, because what am I doing? I'm making the slit narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower, and what do you see ultimately? That the beam horizontally becomes wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and wider. Now that is very non-intuitive, but it's the way the world works.